Ali is a Norwegian developed product that was launched in the early 1970s. Since then, this ingenious construction has been continuously developed and improved. The result is a unique canoe that's not only low in weight, but is also easy to store, transport, paddle and assemble. We'll now show you how to assemble your Ali canoe. Unpack all the parts. And unfold the canoe skin and flotation mat. Connect the longitudinal tubes and place them next to the skin. Now you can easily identify the different parts. You now have two gunnels, water line, outer floor, inner floor and keel. Firstly, insert the gunnels into the channels of the canoe skin. The fitted O-rings should be level with the hems in the skin. Place the flotation mat in the canoe skin. It's important to center the flotation mat properly both lengthwise and widthwise. This will make assembly easier and the final result better. Connect the bows to the gunnel tubes. To reduce friction on the flotation mat, you should lubricate the bows with a supplied silicon sponge. This is generally only required when first assembling the canoe. Connect the bows to the gunnel at each end and push them down into the canoe. Connect the keel to each of the bows. Do not press the keel down before you have assembled the rest of the longitudinal tubes. Fit the inner floor, outer floor and water line into the respective hooks on the bow. Then. Spread all the tubes in the canoe. Ensure that none of the tubes cross each other. Loosen all clips on the inner floor and place all the transverse ribs in the correct order along the canoe. The smallest at each end and the largest in the middle. The ribs are also marked with an article number which is repeated in the assembly instructions. A good tip is to use the middle rib to keep the gunnels apart while you assemble the transverse ribs. Continue working rib by rib from the center and secure with a clip where the gunnel is visible in the skin channel. Use the mallet supplied to hammer the rib carefully into place. Carefully hammer in several places so the rib doesn't bend. Then, pull the loose part of the locking clip into place and twist until you hear a click. It is now locked. Repeat this procedure on all ribs. Ensure that the longitudinal tubes are correctly placed throughout. When assembling the seat, it's important to place the correct legs front and back. The seat legs are marked with an article number and BR for back right, BL for back left, FR for front right and FL for front left. Attach the seat legs to the seat. The complete seat is then attached to the longitudinal inner floor. Take care to depress the locking clips to ensure that the seat legs are securely locked. The seat legs may be adjusted for height to suit leg length and the desired sitting position. The angle of the seat plate may also be adjusted. Tilt it forward if you wish to paddle while sitting on your knees. If you sit with your knees low, the canoe will have a lower center of gravity. This provides better stability in waves or when river paddling. The seat legs may be adjusted widthwise. This provides flexible seat positioning with regard to trimming the canoe's center of gravity.
Assemble the canoe and lay the spray cover on top of it. As it needs to be stretched into place, it may appear a little undersized. A good tip is to attach the cover with tape at each end before measuring and marking the position of the fastening tabs. Tab number one in the bow is attached 12 to 13 centimeters from the top of the bow. Hold the tab in place and mark where it should be attached. Do this at both ends of the canoe. Tab number two is attached approximately two centimeters above the contour of the water line and is centered between the hooks in the spray cover. Do this at both ends of the canoe. The tabs are then fastened along the water line so that the eye of the tab is above the water line tube. Mark the location of all tabs. Wash the area to be glued with acetone. This removes grease and enables the tab to attach better. Wash both the tab and the fastening area on the canoe side. Apply glue to both surfaces and allow to dry until virtually touch dry. Rub the tab properly into place and allow the glue to harden for some hours before applying any pressure. It's recommended that this be done at room temperature and not in direct sunlight. Then, thread the rubber band through all the eyes on the tabs and tie the ends together. Attach the hooks on the spray cover to the rubber band. 